Cow, hello, Red Pill. This, this is day two of me being able to upload again. Now, or is it day one? Today's Wednesday, right? Oh, yeah. Day one. Day one, video two. Let's see who can offend today. This is why men are not dating. It's not just the housing market, a housing market crash, or raising taxes and prices. It's not just the fact that people can't can't buy cars for an affordable freaking price with the wages they are right at this particular moment. It's about the selection of women that they have access to. And the first and the general fact is in the general fact that uh There's no way in heck we're going to have our grandparents' marriages or our grandparents' relationship because there's no woman to do, to, to, there's no woman to have that. So we could, if we could try to provide, but it's always going to go down, go down the drain. It's always going to go down the drain. Just like I said, just like, just because a woman's, a, just because it's a soft girl doesn't mean that you're safe. Like I said, if she's becoming a soft, this is a soft girl. She's settling for anybody. She's desperate. And I'm and I'm gonna incorporate soft girls and, and I'm gonna beat the brakes off of this. Now, a soft like the, the thing is is like the, the reason men are not dating is because what do you have in selection of women? What do you have in selection of women as a man? Let's start with age. Let's start with age 18 to 21. You're just starting out life. You haven't even got started yet. You have absolutely piss all. You have old you have old women. 40 year old, you have cougars looking for a cub. Some of them aren't pretty. A lot of them ain't pretty. You've got cougars looking for a cub and a lot of them ain't pretty. Ain't too pretty. That's all right. Twenty one or twenty three to twenty seven. Again, you've got look cougar looking for a club or a twink. A lot of them ain't pretty. Or a twinkie. A lot of them ain't pretty. A lot of them are fat and overweight. A lot of doodle birds that make you wonder how they how they even get into the plane. Missing teeth, ranked, missing teeth and old. You know, some of them are missing teeth, some of them are overweight and missing teeth, which basically is a contradictory thing. I have no idea how that works. Pre-diabetic, diabetics, pre-hypertensive. So you ain't good no play. You get no snooze do. So a lot of them are single mothers. So any girl around your age is already shacked up with an old man basically pumping out babies. Living off his pension. If not, they've gotten well, shacked up with a ball player. Local ball player, local basketball player, football player, whatever. Let's go 26 to 30. Here's where the, where the age where women be, begin to realize that they're time is running out or the fact that their baby daddy is not going to change and if they're not married in it yet they're not married yet if they're not already married and having a family getting indoctrinated to get divorced to screw somebody else with money All right, 30 to 30 to 40. You've got young, you've got not only the old to deal with, you've got young materialistic girls with no common sense whatsoever, who basically are just basically to use your money, use you as a sugar daddy for their, for their partying habits. 
You are nothing more than their sugar daddy for their partying habits. Congratulations. You are their sugar daddy. And basically farting it up, you're nothing more than a sugar daddy. Congratulations on being a sugar daddy. You're, you, you, and by that point, by the time you're 60 or 70, your johns are probably don't even work. Your johns don't even work no more. You know? So pretty much, you could potentially spend your whole entire life around a woman, around a couple woman, and never get play whatsoever. You know, your entire life. Around a woman, not getting play. Congratulations. So, why are men not dating? We can't provide. Providing is out the picture, is out the question. Providing's just not gonna happen. It's impossible. It's by design, and that's why we're not. That's why we're not screwing. That's why we're not. That's why I was. That's why I'm not screwing. I'm not even gonna put myself at a potential to get tricked. I'm single. I'm gonna. Re I'm gonna remain single. And there's nothing. Any and, and there's nothing anybody can say or do to stop me. Outside of drugs, outside of coercion, outside of handcuffs, outside of some sort of outside intervention, outside of me, any intervention outside of me, there's nothing nobody can do anything about. You know, as long as I got a sober cell in my body and, a, and, and, and I'm clean, there ain't not a daggone thing anybody can say or do. I I'm not even gonna, I'm not letting them in my I, I I'm not, I'm not gonna let them in my life if I'm sober and clean. There's no reason for me to do such. You know, there's no reason. Because why? It's pointless. Fine. It's funny. It's, it's funny, really. It's funny. But hey, what do I know? And the whole thing is, one day some girl's gonna come along and they're gonna change your mind. It's gonna, it's gonna change your heart. It's gonna do something a magical thing. No, it's never gonna happen. I, uh, it's never gonna happen. Uh, if it ain't happen, if it ain't happen. Five years ago, it's never going to happen. If it ain't happened 10 years ago, it's never going to happen. If it ain't happened 15 years ago, it's never going to happen. It's just not going to happen.
20 years, it ain't going to happen. No woman on this planet, whether she comes from near or far, at any age, is going to change my decision. I'm done. I'm done, flat out. I'm, you know, it's a wrap. At one point, I would have loved to have a family. I would have loved to have kids. I would have loved to have a wife to try to to try to provide for, to try to provide for. Key word: try. At one point in my life, but it's it now, it's it's a fallacy. The gut, you know, it's like I don't get paid enough to do that. The pro, I mean, yeah, I probably do, but I do get paid enough to do that. But guess what? But guess what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not finna do it. It ain't going to happen. That's all, folks. And and on another thing about it is, uh, oh, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be out there. No, I should not be. The only thing I should out be out there doing is living. Living my life to the best of my ability. If you want, I can go through the races of why I won't date them. And I guarantee you the majority of them is going to be a lack of access to them and horror stories from, uh, from many other cultures. Let's go through black, let's go through black women, black American women. They're, the, they're one of the most manipulative people, manipulative women. They go out there and swirl. They go out there and swirl and spread, spread, spread the news to other races about black men that they've dated. The trash black men that they've dated. White, they, they go white. They go every other community and spread the news about the trash black men that they've dated. And talk crap about all black men, including the good ones. White, my access to them, basically, either A, a black man's going to get desperate and going to have literally zero confidence whatsoever and end up dating Miss Piggy. And if she ain't Miss Piggy, she's basically she's Miss Piggy's younger self. And it's probably going to be freaking verbally abusive. Why? Because black, apparently black, those black men apparently end up with verbally abusive women when they date White woman. Latina. Lack of access. And horror stories. I'm not willing to put myself in a horror story. To be another statistical horror story. No thank you. Again. As a black man. The only thing I'm going to get is abuse. From any race of woman. Black, white, otherwise. It doesn't matter. As a black man, the only thing I'm going to get is abuse, either physical or verbal. And I'm not going to do it to myself. I'm not going to do it to myself. And pretty much, I'm going to say this again. All women are the same. If they're not, and, and, if, and, and if you've never had, and if, they, and if you've, you've had a father... And they had a good marriage. That's the stand. And 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 they, and, and one or twelve of them die when you're young, were young enough to realize you don't know the full story. You don't know the full story. So, at this point in my life, I've been I I've been by myself for this long. I don't see the point. I don't see a valid point in uh, continuing this whole sh shenanigans. So this is red pill in the wind. I'm going to remain single for the rest of my life, probably, more than likely. I'm never going to say never, but I'm probably going to remain single for the rest of my life. Signing off.